So it's August 2019 and first Monday of the month. I'm inspired to find a cabin here in Valley of the Sun, Fair Play. They are all over the place, left over from the old mining days. I'm using my DJI Osmo Pocket here attached to my iPhone and I'm in front of my computer where all good cabin hunting begins. I'm on Google Maps. I of course know where a lot of the cabins are in the valley. However, using Google Maps here allows me to find new cabins. I'm going to zoom in here and show you what cabin I have discovered using Google Maps right here. You can see that little square on the map and that'll be the cabin that I hope to get to. Uh, I can see on my Google Map that if I drive up Sacramento Gulch and park somewhere like right here, I should be able to walk up this gulch and make it right up to the cabin right there that I have in mind. Once again, there's where we're hiking to. Got the map in 3D mode here, which is really great and helpful. And again, there's the, the cabin, old miner's cabin. So I'll use the drone once I get up there to further locate it and plan my route and come back hopefully here with some good photos and good video of the cabin exploration. So here is the next stage of the cabin hunting, getting the DJI Inspire 2 drone set up to help and locate the cabin before we head up there and try and actually find it, scope out the area and the terrain as we're kind of in uncharted waters here. So I want to know exactly where I'm going and the drone is an incredible helpful tool for that. This is great using the DJI Inspire 2 drone and Xmuse 5S camera. I have located the cabin that I was searching for. That's exactly what we had found on Google Maps previously using the computer and now using the drone. We have found the cabin, which confirms that it's looking good, still intact, and definitely a site worthy of exploring. There's a half collapsed cave in roof and uh, numerous other items around the site. Looks like a stove there and a fire pit and various other debris. So this will be really excellent and worthwhile to hike up to. Here I am using the drone to fly back from the site to my car where I took off with the drone. This allows me to see the route that I need to hike up. Looks like I will definitely be hiking through some thick trees and undergrowth. There's my Jeep. Hiking up through some really nice fields of flowers here. Purple and yellow and red wild flowers. The hike isn't too hard and the scenery is just spectacular. Hiking like this is just spectacular up in a high alpine meadow, no trails, no people, no cars. I don't think anybody comes up here except for me, Tom Elliott, the cabin hunter. Really love days like this where I get to explore, find something on a map and use my awesome photography equipment and drone to find something and explore a new region that I haven't been to before. I hope that we uh, come across this cabin here. I know that we're on the right path. I've been studying this for about a week now, how to find this. So very confident it should be coming up pretty soon ahead here. Not much of a human path going through these thickets and underbrush, but this appears to be like an animal path working its way around the marshy areas. So go where the animals go. They don't like trudging through the water either. Here we are after about 40 minutes of bushwhacking and hiking up the side of the mountain. Only about three quarters of a mile hike. 
but about 600 feet of elevation gain from where I parked to find this one. But what a reward, what a masterpiece of a cabin just sitting out here in the woods waiting to be discovered and rediscovered. This one was definitely with the aid of Google Maps and the drone, of course, that I was able to find it. Wow, look at this place. What do you think of the cabin, Willow? Thanks for being such a good hiking partner and helping me find the place. This cabin is a lot like the others in Valley of the Sun, old miners cabins. The roof is caved in and the wall is starting to cave in. What an amazing part of history. The people who lived here on top of the mountain and hiked up here to get their work done mining. Well, I made it up here to the cabin up above Sacramento Gulch. A little bit of bushwhacking to get here, but not difficult at all. Just a straight line and about a three quarter mile hike. I can tell that nobody has been here in a long time. There's no obvious trail getting here to the cabin and certainly no signs of any modern trash or anybody having been here. Let's go explore. Interesting chinking style here between the large three and four inch gaps in the logs. These are wooden slats between the logs that would have helped to seal the cabin as well as there's signs of old mud that was used to seal. Lots of old cans and debris on the ground everywhere. They obviously didn't pack it in and pack it out. All these cans appear to be uniform. They must have been chowing on beans and chili and things like that. This is the Dead End Horseshoe Basin. There's the mine. Big patch of snow up there here, August 15th that hasn't melted yet. Thanks for watching this edition of Cabin Hunting with Thomas Elliott in Valley of the Sun. This was the Sacramento cabin in Sacramento Gulch above Valley of the Sun in Fair Play. You guys are the best part of me doing this. It's very enjoyable to have an audience that watches my videos and looks at my photos. Until next time, hit that subscribe button at the bottom and like my videos. This helps me to know that you guys are out there. Have a great day.